Hey everyone, welcome back for some more Slide 2 Band of Thieves. And I said it again. And, uh, what I mean by again is, uh, I didn't record audio in the last one because I'm a dumbass. Anyway, the, um, it, this is Slide 3 Honor Among Thieves, not Band of Thieves. So, I'm gonna have to get really used to that. Alright, so let's, uh, let's begin with an opera. A fear. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical taste changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music, and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans, and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Slack Cooper and the gang in an opera of fear. Obviously this is a reference to um, the Phantom Opera. With the mask and everything but And we're in Venice, Italy, 4.36 a.m. And we can already see guards are patrolling everywhere. So, we decided to leave Paris, and now we're going to Italy. And we can see Sly moving along. And there's Bentley. And I believe they have found their safe house. Yes, they have. All right. How much? There's pizza on the bottom right. Okay, so um, whenever there's a job available, uh, th their icon will appear over their head. Pretty simple. ThiefNet is still here, and we still have all those traditional stuff. Smoke bomb, alarm clock. This time Bentley has it. So that's a little different. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. Alright, let's go take a look. That massive dope marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. A conveniently placed rope. All right. Pretty simple. More jumping skills. Put to the test. Let's bounce on up and make our way inside the police HQ. 
Nice climbing, partner. I've got the blueprints to the vent system in front of me. I should be able to guide you to the jail cell. All right. Move in. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Wait a second. Dimitri. Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get busted big time! God! Polita! Wait! Alright, here's something a little different now. Now you've got to make choices. And it's pretty uh, hilarious to see what some of the other stuff. Let me out to those cops and I'll get thrown in there with you. It'll be a heck of a cage match, and we both know who will win. Or did you forget Paris? <laughs> Worth it to see your smug face behind the bars. I assume I'm gonna... Where's that generous nature you're so famous for? I always pegged you as the bigger man in these types of situations. I'm a big man. Big with the payback and the sex appeal. <laughs> Got that end? I can throw the beat on this track. You're just a dancer. And if all those choices are not correct, you end up with the right one. If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out, and then I'll get the double sentence. <laughs> Grief! Alright, quick plan. Tell you what, I'll steal a couple of police uniforms, we'll suit up, and then just walk out the front door. Come on, man. I'm a fashion all-star. No way, no how I'm dressing up in polyester pig suit. Some things worse than jail. Okay. Look, I got in here through an air vent. We can both use it to escape. I can't fit in no vent. You spy my macho frame? I'm packing too much sexy muscle to fit in vent like you stick dudes. Fine. How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free, and Cooper is cooked. <laughs> Key for sale is in head cop lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here, and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, police. That voice sounds vaguely familiar. But we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause. Carmelita. The have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the pollution. I've yet to receive a word Anyway, enough to uh, sightseeing. Let's go get the key. Yeah! Epics. Grab. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. Alright, so now you have to worry about something. I can see, da! I can see! Just make sure you're under a table. And then the power will go off. Make up your mind already. Actually, I'm just gonna play it safe. Let there be light. Dang, those are some big machine guns. Oh, come on, come on. No, 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 no. 
Oh, that was close. Can you really crack this coconut? Sure. Just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear. You spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. Big. This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick ah. until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on, let off the stick and you're in. Now this is really simple with a vibrate controller, but ah, dang it, doesn't seem to work too well. Basically, as soon as you see those blue lights, just turn the other way. There we go. Nothing hard at all. I'll do like I promised and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway, I'll password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge, big Italian landmark. Okay. Guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. Alrighty. Love how it's just Carmelia that goes after. The other cops are like, can, yeah, whatever. Oh, well, it makes it easier on... Sly's part. <laughs>